Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks. Donkstaborn, but built for theme parks. That's who I am. And welcome to a theme park news and update. Where today we're looking at a very specific park. Uh, this is some brand new changes coming to the park in 2021, and this is a park called Edelweiss Nature and Leisure Park. Now, this is in Germany, and this is a very, very small park on the, the scale of things. However, I felt like, like I said, with past European parks, it's always nice to report on these uh, sort of uh, lesser known parks and give them the coverage they deserve. Uh, now, of course, we've got all the changes that we're going to recap over the 2020 season, and then we're going to share with you the changes about 2021. This is all from a Parker Lebnis article, so make sure you go into the description down below where you can check out the article for yourself. But for now, guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Also, guys, if you go in the description down below, not only can you find the link to the article, you can also find um, the links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, uh, where you can subscribe to the channel, and also the Coast Shell Discord server, where you, yes, you, the Coast Shell fan base, can actually get involved with the rest of the Coast Shell fans and interact with me and the rest of the fans. And for now, guys, also submit your video ideas, use the Google Forms link, also in the description, and let's get into talking about Edelweiss's changes for 2021. So the Edelweiss Nature and Leisure Park will be undergoing an extensive transformation. With a dozen new rides and attractions, including play equipment, recreational opportunities, and the rides and attractions arriving by the 2021 season. Now, after the first new attractions and changes have already been implemented in 2020, by far the largest and most expensive expansions will follow in 2021 this year, including a globally unique ride. The main theme of Edelweiss Park will continue to be the forest with all its myths, legends and fairy tales. Now, the official statement from Edelweiss describing the extensive project with which one will develop into a nationally significant world of experience in the future, they officially said, the aim of our efforts is to further develop the Edelweiss Nature and Leisure Park through extensive expansions and adaptions without losing the basic character of a nature-orientated leisure park with the focus on families of all ages and a forest and water adventure world. Apart from the new attractions, Edelweiss continues to focus on the natural kingdom with more than 90 90 hectares of forest, its own gorge, stream and kilometres of path also intended to appeal to the guests who only want to relax. So let's recap the changes that came about in 2020. The largest of these attractions was a 9.5 meter high dual wheel ferris wheel with opposite gondola arms that rotate against each other during the journey. The 10 gondolas turn not only vertically but also horizontally by 360 degrees during the journey which creates a completely new driving experience. However, the new type of attraction with a forest decor won't go into operation until 2021. Also, in contrast to the Ferris wheel, a new handcraft children's chain carousel was opened in the 2020 season by the traditional German carousel forge, in which up to 20 children can fly around a giant toadstool. Immediately next to the attraction, there was also a small rushroom house for children to play with. So, a uh, bit of a twirling toadstool thing going on. <laughs> Trampoline World was also open consisting of two multi-tramp systems with 10 separate jumping e areas each a bungee trampoline system with four jumping areas and two v-fly trampolines with for more acrobatic jumps the vantage point of the trampoline part with a view of the surrounding landscape is particularly attractive according to the article and i've seen the pictures it definitely is uh, in addition to the newly built trampoline facilities another multi-trampoline facility with 10 jumping areas was built in autumn which will also be available in 2021 in addition to the large reservoir, a 10 meter high climbing lighthouse with tube slides made of stainless steel was built that begins with a height of 6 meters. A new play ship with a length of 10 meters and a 7 meter high mast was built next to the tower. The construct forms a mar maritime water world which also includes two cable ferries over the reservoir and balancing facilities. In addition, the creek bed running underground beneath the large reservoir to the south was extensively renatured in 2020. The Dienbach was elaborated, recreated over the, a length of about 430 metres up to the confluence with the Altbach. Little visitors can also look forward to a small bridge and water play area 
uh, and with the water. Also, the benches and tables set up to stay. In 2020, the new attractions were rounded off by smaller play areas such as a new balancing course, various spring animals and shelters. So a few stuff there for 2020, a couple rescheduled to 2021. But let's have a look at some new stuff that's opening this year in 2021. The most spectacular of these will be the brand new Ride, Exper Ride Engineers Switzerland Super Swing. The Ride Engineers Super Swing is a brand new tree decor swing ride which will be a unique eye catcher with a swing height of around 12 meters and a total height of 18 meters a squirrel enthroned on the top as the theming level is absolutely outstanding as from the video you're seeing on your screen right now at the new attraction passengers sit in gondolas that hang from freely moving gondola arms and experience both the feeling of freefall and weightlessness thanks to a special combination of pendulum length and changes in direction the ride from Manufacturer Ride Engineer Switzerland will be installed in January this year, so this month the ride is being installed. In addition, an interactive boat trip in the reservoir through the Dienbach flows is planned for the coming season, accommodating up to five people at the same time, one of whom can steer and another can press the accelerator. The boats can move completely freely within the guise of the water. The natural family attraction should have been installed by spring 2021. 165 metres long and have six boats with space for five people. As well as this, there's also a world of dry slides consisting of free fall tunnel slides, two slope tunnel slides and an interactive slope, um, slope track tunnel slide. Uh, now with this, um, there is guests sliding down the slope in several stages and deciding for themselves whether they want to slide down individual stages or go on foot. The slides are particularly built into the ground. Another major project is the 600 metre long funicular lead from the valley station next to the ascent of the summer toboggan run to the mountain station and then go back down to the valley of serpentines manufactured by Viagold. The largest extension of the upper slope of the Ur Urbanberg is completed by a large alpine pasture with high quality catering and sanitary rooms. From the Alp, guests will be able to watch the future flight shows from the Birds of Prey, an equally planned falconry uh, attraction. Now as well as this, there's other stuff such as a second new gastronomy next to the Alm and the kiosk with outdoor seating set to open in the valley in spring 2021. The mountain station uh, for the funicular, the construction of which must be coordinated with the construction of the dry slide world, is located directly below the Alm Terrace. Completed in the autumn of 2021 will be the extension on the upper slope of the Urbanberg. Last but not least, a large amphitheatre made of yellow and grey granite is currently being built opposite the Edelweiss restaurant. Now the lower half of the amphitheatre, which is nestled in a slope, could already be used as a seat in 2020. The staircase of the theatre will also connect to the funicular and the restaurant. In addition to brand new attractions, there are plans to build animal enclosures uh, for su suitable for the species of red deer, ibex, alpacas, pampas hares and bennet kangaroos. Another focus in the future will be the implementation of events. The new amphitheatre and the alpine pasture with its panoramic view will be particularly suitable for this. Construction work on some of the new attractions have already started. Now, Edelweiss came out and said for us the 2020 season was an off season with a soft opening. We are all very much looking forward to the opening in 2021. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That, my friends, is everything to do with what's happening in 2021 to Edelweiss Nature and Leisure Park in Germany. Now, a lot of details on this family friendly nature and leisure park. And my goodness me, they're doing a lot of great stuff. Again, massive shout out to Park Elevenist for that brilliantly written article. Uh, that is linked, of course, like, like I said, in the description down below. So check that out if you haven't already. This is a wonderfully written article and it shows exactly what Edelweiss are planning to do. Edelweiss are a wonderfully amazing uh, family nature and leisure park and they've done a really good job producing these expansions over the last year or two. And 2021 is absolutely no exception with more dry slides, the amphitheatre, other accessories, the funicular uh, that's over 600 metres long, this new Viagond uh, creation. Uh, and also, like you saw on your screen, the video of the Super Swing manufactured by Ride Engineers Switzerland. You know, again, that's a massive achievement for the part to see that attraction. And you saw the video, it looks amazing. Again, massive shout out to uh, Ride Engineers Switzerland for the video on the Super Swing. And again, links in the description down below for you to watch the full version of that video yourself. Uh, but this is definitely going to be an amazing season for Edelweiss. I could see great things come to this park. 
uh, brilliant things to keep the nature reserve happy and also to keep the attraction side of things happy. And I think that Edelweiss definitely has a bright, bright future uh, in the attractions industry, uh, especially with all these expansions going off for 2021. So there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update on Edelweiss, Nature and Leisure Park. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Edelweiss-tastic day.